Hey guys, Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com with a quick and easy barbecue chicken in the oven. I posted a picture of this on Facebook, on the Facebook fan page. By the way, if you're on Facebook, search CaribbeanPod.com, you'll see what I'm talking about. Beautiful pictures, videos, chat, the works. I posted a picture of this barbecue chicken on there and just about everyone was going crazy over that picture. Trust me, it tasted even better than it looked. So here we go. This is going one more time in the oven. I'm going to put one more coat, uh, coat of barbecue sauce on there. It's going back in the oven. I mean to say, this is one of those dishes going to be very quick. Well, not quick, but simple because we've got to put it in the oven for an hour, hour and a half or so. But here we go. Barbecue chicken in the oven. Remember, if it's your first time watching me here on YouTube, above, click subscribe. Give the video the thumbs up or like it. And below is where you're going to leave me your comments. Show your boy some love and do those things, please. In a lined oven proof baking dish here, I lined it because once we start glazing this and it gets all sticky and everything with the barbecue sauce, it's gonna be hard to get clean later on. One chicken, it's a chicken I cut up here into four pieces, into quarters basically. Maybe about three and a half pounds or so of chicken <coughs> washed with lemon juice and water, then I, I drain it, pat it dry. Now, if you're noticing the skin is still on it, this is going in the oven, and I really need the skin to help insulate this while we cook it in the oven. You can always remove that skin. You don't have to eat it, but trust me on this, you need that skin on here for that sort of uh, <clears throat> protective barrier on the chicken so it doesn't dry up. Very simple to put together, guys. Here. In my little dish here, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of ground black pepper, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of allspice, and half a teaspoon of um, <clears throat> ground mustard, dry mustard. I'm just going to give that a quick little mix up in here. Let these fellas get to know each other. Nice and lovely. Ooh, smells nice with that cinnamon and nutmeg and everything. And all we're doing... It's pretty much sprinkling it all over this chicken. Off camera, I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing to the other side. And I'm just going to pat it on there as well. Additionally, you're going to need about four strands or four sprigs of fresh thyme. Just going to break that, dump it all in there. We, you can certainly chop it up and do your thing, but I like it this way. This is going in the oven for at 375 degrees, 375 degrees for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, that's when your favorite barbecue sauce is going to come in handy. This is one of the juiciest oven barbecue chicken you'll ever taste. So I'm going to go ahead, season the other side of this, and then stick it in the oven for 45 minutes at 375 degrees. It's been, it's been 50 minutes since I put it in the oven 375. We're gonna do a couple things now. First off, if you notice at the bottom there's any extra fat or liquid, what you wanna do is pretty much like this stuff here, we're gonna spoon that out. Cause you really want this to be dry of any sort of liquid, any sort of fat, before we start adding the barbecue sauce on it. I've gone ahead and I've removed all that sort of liquid fat that was on the bottom of the pan here. Now I have my barbecue sauce with a brush and all I'm gonna do is coat, brush the chicken pieces generously because we really want this to really get sticky and gluey and glazed up and juicy and Hey, it's a wicked barbecue we're doing here in the oven. Now, don't go telling your neighbors and your friends, because you know what? Let them think you did this for hours and hours and hours, slow cooking on the grill outside. They will know the difference. Trust me. So I'm just going to stick it back in the oven now for 10 minutes. Then we're going to take it back out, flip it, and do the same thing again. It's been 10 minutes since it's been back in the oven with the barbecue sauce on it. So what we gotta do now is flip these pieces over. <clears throat> and then we're gonna hit them with some of that barbecue sauce and stick it back in the oven one more time. So all I'm doing, I'm brushing it again generously with that barbecue sauce 
and it's going to go back in the oven for 10 minutes. So it's been another 10 minutes since I basted the other side with the barbecue sauce. We're going to do this one more time. So we're going to flip the chicken over back to the original side we had it up at first and give it a nice thick coat of that barbecue sauce. Stick it back in the oven for 10 minutes. Nice glaze on it. You may want to turn up the heat if you need to turn up the broiler to get it a nice dark golden brown luscious sticky color you're looking for. But do your thing. So I'm going to Flip it over, brush it one more time with barbecue sauce, back in the oven. So all I'm doing now is the final thick coat of barbecue sauce. Now remember, you're using your favorite barbecue sauce, the one from the bottle, from the jar, if you're into the gourmet stuff, do your thing. This one here is a honey garlic um, Diana's, if those of you in Canada will know what I'm talking about. It's a lovely sauce. I mean, it's, it's something quick, it's fast. We don't need to go ahead and make our own sauce or any barbecue sauce or anything. You want this nice and thick. And I'm going to stick it back in the oven now for another 10 minutes until it gets nice and gluey and sticky and glazed up. It's going back in the oven. So remember, if you want, you can put this uh, on the broiler setting now to really crisp up the skin and everything else. But this is it, guys. It's going back in the oven one more time, and I'll give you guys a peek of everything when it's all done. Hmm, smell nice. The kitchen smells good. I'm kind of drooling watching the niceness of this chicken here. Nice and coated, shiny with that barbecue sauce. The last couple minutes, I put it to broil, so I got that, that sort of nice crispy skin with that barbecue sauce down there. Now remember, we cook this with the skin on, so you can remove the skin if you want to, but trust me, you won't be <laughs> getting rid of that skin. Underneath, nice, juicy, moist. Remember, these chicken breast here. Trust me on this, it's gonna be juicy. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Guys, you're keeping me back from having my dinner now. But anyways, thanks for joining your boy in the kitchen. Show me some love. Spread the news. CaribbeanPod.com. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen, guys.